Hello, my peeps. I am back. <laughs> Not without technical difficulty, but I am back. So it is Tracy, your friend, the neighborhood paper pusher here. And I am going to turn off this camera because it is out of sync and is very distracting to me. Um, I tried to do this as a live bit or as a bit of a pre recorded video, thinking that that would make a better option because at any point, the kid, the dog, you name it. Seven attempts at making a video, all riddled with technical difficulties or barking dogs. Uh, so let's hope nobody decides to drive down his street while we're doing this because uh, he doesn't like that. I'm going to, uh, fingers crossed, because I want to show you the greatest journey that we're going to take in February. <laughs> so this is uh, the suite we're going to use for February's uh, card making. And it is a sweet suite. <laughs> it is really nice. Um, just a minute here while I try to get some comments going. See if anybody's out there. So this is um, the bundle that we're using, Greatest Journey. Uh, and it comes with these great uh, dies to go with it. Um, I lo absolutely love the font that's in here. Um, I think you could use this card for grad cards, retirement cards, encouragement cards. There's a thank you card everyday cards, people who like the outdoors, people who just like pretty scenery. There's a lot you could do with this card <laughs> or, or with this bundle, I mean. Uh, it comes with this great paper. I will explain in a minute. Uh, we have embellishments. Um, the class, everybody's gonna get one sheet of these. The actual package comes with four sheets, which is tons of embellishments. Um, you can have a lot of fun with those. So you get one of these sheets, which I only used half of a sheet to make all of the card samples I made. So there's lots of leftovers for that. Um, it has this great twine in it. It's really nice. It's kind of textured. It's awesome stuff. Um, we're going to share the, some twine there and the paper. I also mentioned that, I mentioned this in one of my, my other lives, I think, and actually I think in the car, catalog reveal, I still love this stamp set, um, that if you wanted to uh, personalize your card, like mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, then this is a great set. But it also has these really, really great little sentiments at the bottom that if, so if this set doesn't say have a birthday, stand by one. It has taken me this long for this to come up. There we go. Um, and I always forget to mute my computer. Um, <laughs> took that long for Facebook to come back up and that made me forget that I did that step. Okay, so um, if you needed a, a birthday card and it wasn't in the sentiment set that you wanted, then this one has lots of just like general occasion stuff on it. So I think it's a, it's a good one to have in your stash. So when I do the RSVP for this class, I'm going to um, add a few things that I haven't done before just to try to make things easier for you. And I will fully admit, half the time, I don't know what things are called. So I will just call them whatever I call them, <laughs> which is may, may or may not even be the right name. Um, or I will give it a very you know, generalized name like the outdoor set. So normally on, on your RSVP form, it will say, I just want the card making supplies or I want the card making supplies and the bundle. So, I will still have those two options. And so when I talk about the card making supplies, I'm talking about all these consumables. This is the bundle we're talking about. So it's this stamp set and these dies. So we'll come in their own little package. But I'm also going to add on the other elements that are used in these samples and in, that we'll have at class in case you really want to have them. This way, everything's waiting for you. If you want to go home and make more stuff, there you go. Uh, because it's celebration, if you want on it, add extra stuff on when we're ordering for this class so you can get some of the freebies from celebration easy enough to do you just have to let me know so there's going to be this so the same two options that there always is but then there's also going to be the option to add on the best family ever stamp set and i'll have the price there or if you would like your own like full package of these there'll be an option to add those on um, if you want your own full package of these option for that option to add on the paper so you don't have to do any of those things to come to the class you pick the first option, which is just card making supplies, and you'll be able to walk away with five great cards. But if you want to be able to keep crafting like I did, where I just about couldn't stop with this bundle because I was having so much fun with it, um, then you'll have it, it'll tell you which supplies. So you're you know what you're using if you want to keep going. 
So, like I said, this is the B side of the paper. Um, and only because um, the A side is generally the one that goes with the theme. So in this case, the outdoors evening, which I my stamps are too far away, uh, goes with the other side. And you will see that in the card samples. But look how awesome the B side is. This is actually one of the ones I made. Uh, it's the background of a scenery, but um, you could make such fun cards with just these patterns. So the 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 paper is really um, is really worth it. Like you're gonna love the paper. You can do so much with it. Okay. So let me show you how much fun I was having, and my questions for you. So my questions for you are: Would you like to make cards with a white card base, which are maybe a little more still bold, but not as bold. <laughs> so here's the wildflower one, which we'd have different color of these, like this orange layer. So you could color them whatever color you wanted. And don't be intimidated by the coloring. This is an amazing wildfire stamp, wildfire, wildflower stamp uh, and two colors of marker that I've just very quickly colored. But it's just, it's such a pretty picture. Um, again, it's awesome paper. There's one of the options with the mountains and there's those fun embellishments. Uh, this was one of my favorite cards. One of the first ideas I had and I didn't really want to cut up the paper. So I ended up just kind of like, it's a picture within a scene. Um, and I did add a ponytail to make the runner into a girl, but I think my ponytail might need work. Um, but I do love that card. And then this card, I, I actually originally made it with the, with the pieces offset because I was like, I wonder what would happen if you didn't line them up. And I like both looks. Like this offset look is lots of fun. But look at these patterns and how beautiful they are. So when I talk to you about the cards and that we're going to make this card, um, you'll notice that these are the, I cut these from the same piece of paper. So the trees are a little bit different. And this layer is a little bit different. These both came from the same piece of paper. It all just depends on which chunk you get. Because a bunch of the paper is done like this here with this way so if you cut off this side or if you cut off this side you're getting two kind of different color schemes or two different sets right um look at how bold these are are these not the nicest papers uh this particular card or particular piece of paper i'll give you a sneak peek of the other ones this card came from here right and you're saying tracy that paper's green that card is purple and you would be correct. So this Coastal Cabana half and this Highland Heather half are off the same piece of paper, right? So depending which half you cut. It also, you'll notice this is, yep, this side. So the trees, this is this chunk, right? So when I cut this chunk, it's gonna be slightly different trees and mountains. And when you get this chunk, slightly different trees and mountains. Now it's all gonna make a fabulous card. No worries about that. but. It's just so it's such amazing paper, um, but it's not going to be exactly, exactly the same. Uh, the trees, this layer of trees, um, there's actually this part of a piece. There was a, so there's a darker strip, which you'll see shortly. And then it gets lighter as it goes up. So depending on which kind of chunk of the paper you get, but they're all gorgeous. Any one of them is gonna work. So that's question number one was white card bases or, do we want to go a little bold? And I thoroughly enjoyed the go a little bold cards. <laughs> so oops, I got some of them upside down. So there's the darker trees. <laughs> so there's one of them. And look at this. You can color on these embellishments. These are just colored with the blends. The blends are alcohol markers that will stick to stuff. So this one, I just colored it a little bit. And I love this because it is so close to the work logo from where I recently retired. Um, oh. Look at the sky. And these little dudes you can cut out in various different colors. I was making lots of samples, so you'll notice I've got some gray and some blue guys too. You can also cut off his lantern and he has a little walking stick that goes with him as well. Oh, come on, isn't that gorgeous? And that's that same wild flower stamp set with just um, just stamped on top of the paper. And even, even a bright bold pink card and I love it. Uh, love, love this one. So this guy here, this there's a die that makes you, and it cuts an actual, a much longer like mountainscape. Um, in this case, I just kept a piece of it because I absolutely love the little grass here. And, you know, I've got a son. I know that this is what he would do. He'd be jumping off the edge of whatever it was. And then I showed you this one before. 
So these are the colored card bases and they are much bolder, brighter cards, but oh, I do love them. So that's option B. Now, as you can tell, I could have made more. I could have kept going, but at some point I thought I have to stop and like make a poster and post this class because I need to get RSVPs within like the next two weeks. So I know how much stuff to order. So I know which patterns we're doing and make sure I have enough of the paper because I did use a fair bit of this first pack. Um, option C is, you know, I guess we'll go with best of both worlds as the, as the name and we'll make these three cards and these two cards and we'll just kind of mix and match. And, and because I have like favorites in all of them, I'm having a hard time deciding. And so I thought, well, I can make as many cards as I want. Let's ask the people. So do you have a preference to the white card bases, the colored card bases, or a mix of card bases? Um, I also need to know if you want to add on extra, extra supplies. So like I said, I can get this stuff all ordered in. My ultimate goal, honestly, is just to get together and make cards with you guys, because I love to do it. And I have missed doing it. Um, January, everybody was busy. We didn't end up having any of the classes go forward. I'd really like to see you guys all in February. I know, selfishly, I would just like to hang out with you guys. And if we can make some cards, some little folded paper hugs that you guys could send out afterwards, well, doesn't that just make it better? So this is the feedback I'd like. Just, I'm gonna post this on Facebook and you know, there's a little chat now, so you can add it in the chat. You can send me a quick message, however you wanna get a hold of me. Request number two is, oops, as I drop everything, this is the backside of my business card. Yes, you can tell everybody I showed my backside in a video on Facebook. <laughs> yep, not sure where my sense of humor comes from. So that's my business card. My curi I'm curious because one, I like to show off the fact that I now know how to make QR codes. Um, the best way to keep track of everything, you'll notice this one is like the newsletter subscription is to follow my newsletter. Anything I do, any posts or little messages I might send out, or if I happen to remember to text or email or whatever, the summary, the sort of one-stop shopping is currently my newsletter. I'm working on a website, but it's currently my newsletter. So I want this code everywhere, just so people, it's the easiest way to get a hold of things. All my contact information, everything's there. But I am curious if you pause a video, if the clarity, the resolution maybe is the right word, is good enough that you can actually use the QR code off a of paused video. Because I was going to, oh, I got it right the first time. So as you can see on my little banner here, it has my company name, but it doesn't tell you how to get a hold of me. So I was thinking of like putting it a bigger version of this here. So when I'm crafting, it's always there in the corner, but I want to know if it works for it because <laughs> it will be in my way and I will constantly cover and uncover it. So um, does it work? So that's my question for you guys. Can you pause this video and use this QR code? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, I'm going to keep it short, everybody. Um, thank you for your feedback because I know you're all going to give me some. Um, these are, um, this is a, like I said, it is a suite, a suite. We are doing this class on the 26th of February, Sunday afternoon from one to four in the beautiful Mournville Leisure Center. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you have any thoughts on cards and uh, let me know if the QR code works. Thanks everyone. Have a great night and I look forward to seeing you soon.